this video, we're going to be looking at application problems. So, number one says, Sammy is in charge of ordering pens for a business. The company she is purchasing the custom pens from charge per pen plus a yearly fee. Sammy paid $375 last year for 300 pens. This year, she pays $725 for 1,000 pens. Write the system that represents the situation. Then find the yearly fee and cost per pen. Okay, so first, when I am looking at application problem, I want to figure out what are my two variables and label them. Usually, you can find this in this last sentence. And this last sentence says to find the yearly fee and the cost per pen. So I'm going to label the yearly fee as x and the cost per pen as y. So I have x equals yearly fee. And y equals cost per pen. Next, I like to look for totals in my problem because that's what I'm going to be setting my equations equal to. So looking here, I see that first Sammy paid $375 last year. So I know one of them's going to be equal to $375. And then I see that this year she paid $7.25. Now I look to fill in the equations. So looking for $3.75, it says Sammy paid $3.75 last year for 300 pence. And we don't know the cost for pence. So I know there's a 300Y here. However, it also says that the company she is purchasing the custom pens from charge per pen plus a yearly fee. We don't know that yearly fee, so I need to add an X in here. So I have X plus 300Y equals 375. Now this year she pays 725 for 1,000 pens. So that's still that yearly fee that she has to pay for, X, plus this time it's 1,000 pens, so I have 1,000Y is equal to 725. So I have my system, now I'm going to solve it so that we can find the yearly fee and the cost per pen. Here I'm going to go ahead and solve this by elimination. I see that x, both of them have a coefficient of 1, so I just need to multiply one of these equations by negative 1 so that they would be opposite. I'm going to go ahead and multiply the bottom equation by negative 1. So when I do that, I have x plus 300y equals 375, and negative x minus 1000y is equal to negative 725. So my x is canceled, and I end up with negative 700y is equal to 375 minus 725 which is negative 350. And then dividing both sides by negative 700, I get that y is equal to 0 0.5. So I have my y value. Now I can go ahead and plug that in to find my x value. I'm going to go ahead and plug it into the first equation. And so I have that x plus 300 times y, which is 0 0.5 equal to 375. 300 times 0 0.5, I get 150. And then subtracting 150 from both sides, I get that x is equal to 225. So I see the x is 225, that was my yearly fee, so my yearly fee is 225, cost per pen is 50 cents. Okay, let's look at the next problem. Next problem says that you have a total of 18 math and science exercises for homework. You have six more math exercises than science exercises. 
how many exercises do you have in each subject? Okay, so first I want to go ahead and label my variables. The last sentence says I'm looking to see how many exercises we have in each subject. So I'm going to allow x to be math and y to be science. And I'm looking for totals and says I have a total of 18 math and science exercises. And then it says I have six more math exercises and science exercises. So I'm going to take that first sentence and create an equation first. And it says I have a total of 18 math and science exercises. So I know it equals 18. And to add up to what equals 18, well, it's going to be a number of my math and the number of my science. So it's just going to be x plus y is equal to 18. The next sentence says that I have six more math exercises than science exercises. So that means that x, my math, is going to equal to my science plus 6 because I have 6 more math than I have science. So I get this system, x plus y equals 18, and x equals y plus 6. Now this one's already set up for substitution because I already have x isolated in my second equation. So what I'm going to do is I am going to substitute y plus 6 in for x in my first equation. So when I do that, I get y plus 6 plus y is equal to 18. y plus y, I get 2y plus 6 is equal to 18. Subtract 6 from both sides, and I get 2y is equal to 12. And then divide both sides by 2, and I get that y is equal so I have my y value, now I need to find my x value. I'm going to go ahead and plug it into the second equation since x is already isolated in that one. So I have x is equal to 6 plus 6. So I have that x is equal to 12. So that means I have 12 math, math exercises and six science.